Hi, my name is Frankie. Thank you for listening to my mom. I never listen. We're going into Conference USA and we're bringing up one of their superstars in Savannah Wheeler, who is a fifth year senior at Middle Tennessee State for the Blue Raiders. Savannah, thank you for being on Nothing But Net. We're so happy to have you. Thank you for having me. Listen, I've been watching you for a while. You can flat out fill it up. And I like offensive players. That's why you're here, Savannah. You can shoot it. <laughs> thank you. Um, you know, like, while well, Big part of my game is just kind of just doing what the team needs, uh, just reading what the defense is giving you as a point guard, um, just making the right reads, uh, running the offense, getting what we want as a team, get a good shot. And, yeah, just going out there playing, having fun. Middle Tennessee has always had a really strong women's basketball tradition, and Rick Insel has made it stronger. And year after year, there's a competitive product on the floor that is fun to watch, entertaining, and tough. I mean, toughness it would be one of the ways I would always describe Coach Insel's team. How would you describe your team? Oh, we're definitely, we enjoy playing the game of basketball and uh, Coach Insel and just the rest of the coaching staff do a great job of preparing us and really motivating us to be, our to reach our potential. Um, you know, I don't, we're not satisfied with how we are right now with our record. You know, we just want to keep building, keep pushing to what we are capable of being. And the coaches do a great job every day of, motivating us and we go hard at practice our our practice players do a good job of just getting us ready for our next opponent so you know every day is that we just go hard and you know we have fun with it and ultimately we just have to get better as a team and when, once when all those things kind of play together you know you're gonna see success towards the end Savannah you're one of those kids that to me appears like always had a ball in her hands you know everywhere you went you're from Boyd County that's the way we do it in Kentucky right we don't say what town we're from we say the county you were Miss Basketball 31 points a game in high school you have lots of accolades um, what was it about your time that you spent at Marshall that made you want to switch and, and play at a different school in conference because they were still in the same conference at the time I think you're still in the same conference um, but things change so quickly. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, what was it about playing in Murfreesboro that had your eye? Um, well, like you said before, you know, Middle Tennessee is a great basketball program and, um, you know, nothing to Marshall. And I enjoyed my time at Marshall, but, um, I was wanting something more for myself and as a team. And, um, they, they actually left to go to the Sun Belt, so we don't play them at all. And, um, you know, kind of, Growing up, um, I've always enjoyed the game. Uh, my dad has made a special impact in that. Um, I would always go to uh, the Little League games that he would ref, and I would just watch them. And whether it was a timeout or after the game, I'd go out there and just start shooting. And at the time, when, as I got older, I realized I kind of wanted to be close to home. And um, once I started my career at Marshall, um, I kind of, after my third year, I just wanted what's – wanted something more and um you know I was hoping that middle would reach out to me and once I found out they reached reach out to me out of the portal uh, I took advantage of it and just within a few weeks I was committed here and um you know we had a great year last year in my first year and mm -hmm. um you know but we're not done yet and one thing that I'm looking forward to is just keep pushing keep getting better what's it like growing up in Boyd County where it's basketball all the time um, well, it's not a whole lot to do in Eastern Kentucky, uh, for sure. But, um, you know, ultimately, um, not just in Boyd County, but the whole area itself, um, there's been a lot of good basketball players growing up. Um, I can remember when I was in high school, I would go to a basketball gym in a small town called Waylon, and it was where the first Mr. Basketball I played, uh, his name was King Kelly Coleman, and, uh, to this day, that gym is still there, and they're kind of, they're turning into a historic historical museum, and um, you know that I think that's just that's how special you like how you know how special basketball is in Eastern Kentucky, and you know how it's it's growing, and you know it's making a lot of people come visit to the place. So ultimately, I mean, we just love sports. So. 
it's living in one holler from the next, right? Isn't that how we define it? I'm, I'm trying to think. Yeah. I live in Lexington. Yeah. So I remember um, I had to go to Harlan, Kentucky quite a few times. And it was like, go over to holler and take a left. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, that's kind of, and going back in high school, um, a lot of people, a lot of high schools didn't really kind of, didn't really look at Eastern Kentucky being real big. And, um, you know, once, once I felt like that I established myself and there were other players that came through there that were Mr. And Miss basketball, but, um, you know, a lot of the North, the Northern Kentucky, Western Kentucky, all the, the different areas didn't really put a lot of emphasis, didn't focus on Eastern Kentucky. So, you know, I think knowing where you're coming from is, is very important. And I'm very proud to represent Eastern Kentucky. And you should be. And it shows in your game with the way you play, how much you enjoy it, how much you enjoy your teammates, uh, how how hard you work to get open. You're the target on the top of the scouting report. I mean, it's obvious to me that you've put a lot of time in. What's your favorite part about working out? Favorite part about working out? Um, I was every morning I come in before practice and get up. I would at least like to try and make 253s before practice. But um, going into the preseason, a lot of that uh, was working on pull-ups, mid-ray jumpers, and I obviously like getting to the free throw line. So kind of working on some other things to up my game. Uh, like you said, like hitting the pull-up and um, working on free throws. A lot, um, you know, free throws is very important to my game. And, you know, when it comes down to it, you got to knock them down. And um, also when just kind of working on my threes, whether it's straight up threes or step backs, uh, dribble into threes. So ultimately just try and work on whatever you can to get better. And see, that, that makes my heart sing because I love to see a good shooter put the time in and work on their footwork and be able to play off all actions, so any kind of screening action, all kinds of cuts, um, the exit cut, the basket cut, the scoring cut, the all the different cuts that that coach has that allows you to, to be able to be successful. The one thing about coach that I think is interesting always to me is that he's always had a really good score. Like he has over the history and his time, he's had great offensive players. You know, Alicia Clark comes to mind right away. You know, the multiple times she's led the nation in scoring and I could go on and on with a number of players. Um, when you, when you get inside his offensive mind, what is the thing that you've learned the most from him about being a good scorer? I would just say, just taking what the defense has given you. Um, you know, some, if my defender is overplaying a pass, um, he actually told me today to kind of reverse pivot or cross over and just beat the man and you'll have a layup or a pull-up jump shot. And, um, you know, that's one thing that he's really taught me the most and um, taught me how to be, a, he's taught me how to be a leader. And um, he's overall just made an impact in my life. And not just him, just all, all of the coaches here. Um, I'm just very fortunate, very blessed to be part of a special program and ultimately just not continue to grow as a player, but to grow as a person. Yeah, I mean, good peeps, right? And uh, when I see those boys on the road, rolling down the road, man, I, I'm trying to jump on the bandwagon because they're <laughs> fun to hang out with. Um, so... You got a win over the Big East. You got a win over the Big 12, but nothing can possibly top the win over the SEC, uh, especially for where you come from and where you work. And that win over Tennessee this year must have been special. Tell us a little bit about the prep going into that and and actually the final buzzer. Well, uh, going into that game, uh, we we played Belmont at Belmont and we unfortunately we got beat by them so going into that game you know we knew that it was gonna it was a challenge for us but after a loss you know what's important is to just erase it real quick and just move on to the next so you just flip to the next page and we knew that we had Tennessee coming up after Belmont so our main focus was on that game and um we knew how good they were, but we also knew like how important it was to prepare for that moment. And um, overall, just knowing 
the history of that program. Um, we knew we were, we were definitely excited going into that game. And once we stepped on that court down in Huntsville, Alabama, and just seeing all those fans, you know, we knew we knew that we wanted to play for ourselves, but most importantly, most importantly for those fans. Um, we have a great fan base here. They do a great job of coming to the glass house and several will travel with us. But, um, you know, that game was – that was, was by far, it was really special, not just for me, just for the whole team, really the whole community. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, just the environment, the atmosphere of it all was definitely something that I'll never forget. And I'm going to cherish for the rest of my life with the girls that I played with. Savannah, I, I know you have a bright future off the court. I know you have a lot of things that you're interested in. Um, when it comes to putting those laces down. And uh, I know it's going to be a hard day when that comes, but I know I'm not saying that you're not going to play somewhere else or play professionally, but when you're all done playing and your playing days are over, what is the thing that you're most interested in doing next? Um, well, I just graduated with a degree in integrated studies. Congratulations. That's fantastic. Thank you. So now I'm pursuing another pursuing another degree in physical education. So um, I think once when that's over, I would like to become a teacher, PE teacher, and hopefully become a coach one day. Mm -hmm. And um, I've kind of thought about being a college assistant coach. Um, ultimately, just my biggest thing right now is just kind of focusing on the moment and not to worry what's next. So, um, I think I that's, it. I think I it. right now it's just focusing on just the present right now with, uh, my last time playing sure. with, playing at this university, playing with these girls that I love playing with and playing for the coaches here. So, well, there are going to be a lot of people that watch this podcast and listen to you and how about a graduate assistantship? Would that be something that you'd be interested in? Cause if you are put it out there right now. Definitely. Uh, I would definitely uh, be interested in being a grad assistant. So um, just doing what I can to still be involved with the game because um, the game's definitely a big part of who I am and I want to continue being around it. Well, the game is better because you play it, Savannah. And we are grateful that you took the time to be with us on the podcast. Savannah Wheeler at Middle Tennessee, their five, seven, fifth year senior who is an incredible combo guard, a great shooter and a, a really great character around the game. Savannah, thanks so much for being with us and for taking time out of your busy schedule to be on Nothing But Net. Thank you so much for having me.